you for recognizing veterans. I'm the only military veteran in the race for Attorney General, and I'm proud of my military service. In fact, my military service began right here in Cobb County. 1982. Let's see if I can do this. All right. Feeling. I'll be the lounge singer. Okay. My military career began just down the road at Dobbins Air Force Base. I went and enlisted in the Air Force Reserves at Dobbins Air Force Base in December of 1982. I'm very proud of my service now. I'm, I'm a JAG. I'm an old gray-headed Colonel JAG. I'm still in the Air National Guard. Started off as an Air Force mechanic. I was absolutely the worst Air Force mechanic in the history of the United States Air Force. And, but I found my place as a JAG. Um, it's good to be here. Thank you for your turnout. Thank you, Cobb County, for what you have done for the state Republican Party. You all have been an anchor uh, for the Republican Party for decades as, as this party has built itself up into a majority status. So thank you for your service. I live in Macon, Georgia, where uh, running as a Republican is like playing college football season all the way games. It's, uh, it's difficult. But let me, let me put your mind to rest. I know you've been listening to a lot of candidates. Uh, uh, let me help you wake up. I want to make sure everybody knows if I were Attorney General of the State of Georgia, we would be suing the Obama administration. I can't believe a human being with a brain would have voted for this. I'm just amazed at uh, uh, the, the, uh, there are at least uh, there, there are arguably three constitutional issues in this thing uh, where, where it uh, falls short of uh, constitutional uh, muster in my book. And the Commerce Clause issue to me is just a slam dunk. Uh, so I, I, I hope that uh, we can get some action out of the state government before uh, I become the Attorney General. Hopefully the government will be able to remedy the situation, but I think our Attorney General uh, has done a terrible disservice to the people of Georgia by not filing suit. Uh, eight years. Eight years. I'm going to ask you to remember that. By the way, there's a lot of folks over there that can't see me. Um, I, I just want to paint a picture for you. I'm six foot two. I have gray hair. I weigh 200 pounds. And I look just like an attorney general. So then you got to get the picture. Right there. Okay. Eight years. I was United States Attorney for the Middle District of Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of ways to go to the Attorney General's office, a lot of different backgrounds, but I submit to you that serving as a United States Attorney is an absolutely uh, great training ground for being an Attorney General of, state, of any state. Three of my colleagues from the Bush administration have gone on to be Attorney Generals in various states, South Dakota, Wisconsin, and Colorado, and I hope I'll be the fourth one. Eight years, 2001. 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005 when I was serving in Iraq, running the United States Attorney's Office from Baghdad, Iraq, 2006 when I was running the United States Attorney's Office from Baghdad, Iraq, 2007, 2008, and the beginning of 2009. I managed an office of lawyers. I did exactly what the State Attorney General does. I managed an office of lawyers. We hired lawyers. Sometimes we asked them to leave. I was involved in strategic decisions on, on big cases with the lawyers that were trying the cases themselves. I was involved in budgetary decisions and involving the proper use of, of budget um, of funds and in, in prioritizing an office that has to, to do litigation and handle litigation decisions. We were involved in handling grand jury information, information that has to be handled in a special way. We were involved with the media. We were involved in Washington, D.C., looking over our shoulder. For eight years, I handled that burden in the Middle District of Georgia. Well, it wasn't a burden, it was a joy. It was an absolute joy. And it's been an excellent opportunity to train and learn what an estate attorney general has to do. And I, I can't think of a better time uh, to be running for a state attorney general. I can't think of a better way to serve my state than in these times when we have a federal government that wants to ignore the Constitution and wants to encroach into areas that should be reserved for state governments and wants to encroach into areas in our personal lives. On a purely selfish uh, comment, I I'm just thrilled with the possibility that I could serve you in that position because I can't think of, of something that's any more important. I think this is just as important as the governor's race in these times because of what we have in Washington, D.C. And I'm thankful that, that at least this has given an opportunity for people to take a look at the attorney general's race Take a look at my qualifications. I'll put my qualifications next to anybody running. In fact, if I were, and I'll, and I'll put my proposals next to anybody that's, that's running. In fact, I'm the only candidate that's made any bold proposals for change. We have a stagnant attorney general's office. There needs to be changes. 
One change I would do is, is create an appellate division, and that's important in these times because in that appellate division, you can bring in constitutional law experts. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be fighting the federal government in court for a long time, as long as this administration stays in office. And we need to develop constitutional law expertise to, to fight that battle. And if my idea had been in place, as it is in 30 other states, uh, we would be better prepared to take on the federal government in this litigation. But I'm the only candidate that's proposed that. I'm the only candidate that's proposed we take a look at satellite offices and see if we can save money with satellite offices. No other candidate's been willing to, to, to propose that because that makes lawyers all across the state that work for the state of Georgia uh, oppose you. And I've had to take that political hit. But it's the right position to take. It's the right position to take. I want to finish up by, by saying this. You hear a lot of talk about courage and determination and what candidates are going to do. I took a year of my life and went to Iraq. Spent time diving under tables when rockets were coming into the embassy. I put my life on the line for something that I believed in because I believed in what we were doing in Iraq. And I felt I needed to pay my dues for that effort. So when you, you hear people talk about what they're going to do, I just hope you will remember that I, I put action behind my words. And, and I will do that again if I'm given the privilege to serve you as Attorney General. Thank you very much for being here today.